I got a flat tire. Again, on the rear. I bumped it up before I left. Since I have, you know, an hour before I have to be into work, I'm gonna patch this puncture. Got my park tool patch kit. Gonna take one of these patches. There are three components to patching a bicycle inner tube. You've got the patch itself, you've got glue, and you've got a little piece of sandpaper. Mark the spot. You gotta buff up the area to distress the rubber so that the glue will have something to adhere to. Normally I would just put a new tube in, but one, this is an educational opportunity, and two, why not uh, reuse, why not reuse instead of throwing out and getting a new one? Gotta live my own principles here. Punch the hole in your tube of glue. You gotta spread it on the area where the patch is gonna go, and then some. So I've spread it around, it's all sticky and icky. Wipe your hand with the junk rag you keep in your bag. And this glue has to dry. This glue has to really dry before you can do anything to it. I'm gonna over glue, because the last time I did this I under glued. And after the five minutes are up, you take your patch and you Put the patch on the hole in your tire. And you press and hold for a good bit. If the glue is applied, applied appropriately and takes up a large enough surface area, it should stick pretty well. You got a silver side and a little plastic foil. I'm gonna just hold this for 30 seconds or so. There's no science to this part, even though really this whole process is science. Cycling is really a lot of science and engineering, physics. Okay, so it's science. Pull off the backing. Let's make sure the patch holds real quick. Also a good time to make sure that there are no other punctures that we need to address. And then you reinstall your tube.
opted for the technique where you leave one bead on the rim just because of the I know these hoops are difficult to work with. Uh, at this point, you've got to go ahead and reseat the bead, the second bead, making sure you don't pinch your tube because that'll result in another flat that you'll have to go back and fix later. You got to repeat this process all over again. And that just does not sound like the way I want to spend my Wednesday morning. Looking forward to that cup of coffee later. Okay. Then comes the fun part. Check to make sure there is no pinching of your tube. These are rated from 90 to 110, no, these are 90 to 120. I ride around 110, makes for a Fairly bumpy ride in the grand scheme of things, but I'd rather the efficiency of a well-inflated tire. No squish squish now. Woo! What a day. Patching an inner tube is not the final solution. That's not the end-all be-all. I am fortunate enough to have a few spare tubes here, both on me and at home, uh, but this is sort of a quick fix. It's enough to get me to work and back tonight. Ideally, I'll replace the tube fully, or maybe not. Um, but tubes can only really be patched once or twice. Beyond that, you're really not supposed to. Uh, the patch will not last forever. So yes, it is a good idea to replace this. But I gotta get to work. I do have some time. But uh, have a great Wednesday, everyone. And if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you like this video and uh, think I should do more. And if you found this helpful or if you have any questions, just post in the, uh, the box below thing.